Hello everyone, I'm here to open my PNSO and Montasaurus figure. Um, I was thinking about doing it um, tomorrow, but might as well do it tonight. And since I have um, the figures with me to do a size review, well, a size, you know, size review of it. I'm sorry, I gotta move this shit. There we go. Yep. Oh, have my key with me. Of course, I don't want to fuck up the box. Oh, perfect. No need. Yeah. I heard that it's a big figure. Not like a big, big figure, but it's like kind of big by its own right. So we'll have to do this very gently, of course. Like all these PNSO figures, you always have to open these boxes very gently. Oh, here's a, uh, a poster of it. I'm gonna do it last. I'm just gonna do the figure first. Here is the Edmontosaurus. Here's another box. And I always will put put it back where it was. Like all of my PNSO figures. But man, here it is. Here is the Edmontosaurus figure. Now, as you can tell, this figure is pretty big. So there's been a lot of debates really on is this is this um, figure based on E Enectins or E Regardless or Regalis or whatever how you pronounce it? Honestly, in my humble opinion, I think it's more more E Enectins because it's it literally looks like the same size as the PNSO Tyrannosaurus Rex figures, even maybe longer, perhaps. But still, um, yeah, and it has the crest, but we're not so sure that if a Nectins had that, we could speculate it as much as we want to, but yeah, but let's just say that this is a Nectins. I'm just going to pretend that it is, um, it has hooves. Since we found a mummified preserve of a hadrosaur with these front hooves, and which they did a really good job. The eyes are pretty good. The bill. And we also now stated that hadrosaurs actually had a completely different type of bill. They're not as the quote unquote duck bills. You know, it's, you know, it's kind of like an invalid term. I mean, not really a valid term. It's like saber tooth tiger, for example. You know, we can't say duck bill anymore. I mean, even though that it, it is stuck in my head, but we have to accept it that there is no duck bill because it's not a duck. It doesn't have a bill of a duck. It has a very thick tail, which in Montasaurus had a very, very thick tail. Um, I also think that its tail was for balance, but it also may have been a defense weapon against predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. Um, yeah, it could also stand up on two legs. I wish they made a, a two-legged one. That way it could rear up and scare away a predator. That would be cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe PNSO can do that. Um, yeah. Now let's do the size on how big this figure is. And let's start out with the smaller... Well, let's start out with the... And Kyla, the Safari Limited and Kylosaurus figure. Obviously, Amontosaurus is the longest and maybe even the largest land animal in the Hell Creek Formation. Um, yeah. 
it was probably the it was much bigger than an ankylosaurus it was a very vulnerable animal of course that ankylosaurus you know obviously it would it would still be dominant than in montasaurus because obviously a montasaurus would i mean ankylosaurus would have a club tail and it would whack and a montasaurus if it if it challenged it or whatever oh and i also like how it has the big hump too as well i forgot about to mention yeah still pretty cool And now let's check on the Safari Limited Triceratops. Again, Triceratops was 30 feet long. Also, Ankylosaurus was like 25 feet, I believe. Triceratops was like, I want to want to say 30 feet. And Montasaurus would have been like 40 to 45 feet, maybe more than that. I heard rumors that they're 50 feet. But who knows? It's a possibility. Um, and Montasaurus would have been a bit heavier than Triceratops. At least I heard rumors. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, and that, very cool. Now let's check on the two Tyrannosaurus Rex figures, Wilson and Cameron. Let's start out with Wilson. Very interesting. Like, literally, like, it seems like Edmontosaurus, the PNSO Edmontosaurus figure, is probably longer. Like, if you look at the tail length, it's longer than Wilson. And also in height, they're, uh, they're kind of about the same. But it looks bigger. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say, really. It's hard to say, really. Like I said before, because it's hard to tell. I think, well, I think the Amontosaurus is a bit bigger, but not by much. No. And now we start out with, I mean, and now the next figure, I'm sorry, is Cameron. Now, obviously, Cameron is a bit taller, as you can see. Like, it is a bit taller than um, than the Amontosaurus figure. But in terms of, like, lengthwise, Amontosaurus was a, had a longer body shape. Yeah, so... And obviously, this figure is based on more of Sue, I heard, of course. and uh, And Cameron's more based on, like... I think like an average Tyrannosaurus by its own right. I think it's based on the MHA um, um, the New York specimen. Bit off topic though, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, so Amontosaurus was indeed a little bit larger than T-Rex. Maybe it grew up on two legs. Maybe it was... Of course, larger and taller than than T Rex, but obviously on four legs, it's like close. Like, like if we look at Cameron and the Amontosaurus, it's they're almost about the same, except for like like I said before, height. Uh, Cameron is taller in terms of length. The Amontosaurus figure is is longer. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I also love the stripe detail of it too. I think they did a really good job. And also, I am going to do a project of a Edmontosaurus escaping the the life and like escaping um the jaws of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I am either going to use one of these figures, of course, since they're obviously they're the same company, Wilson and Cameron, and they are going to, well, hunt the Amontosaurus, and the Amontosaurus escapes, it fights for its life, and it just gets the fuck out of here as fast as it can. 
you know? It would be sort of based on this doc this clip I saw of a zebra that was attacked by a lioness and and the zebra tries the tries its best and it succeeded and it got the hell out of here. But anyways, it's like that. Not being off topic, but it's gonna be like a similar concept, you could say. Um let's see here. Yeah, so people will say that oh Tyrannotherium downplays on Hadrosaurus still. No, I don't. The reason why I downplay on Hadrosaurus is because of Jack Horner's stupid opinions. That's why. But that's a different topic for another day. Anyways, let's look at the book. Oh, I, don't, I almost forgot. PNSO also has their books. So it's pretty interesting to see. Oh, I like this picture. <laughs> Based on, of course, the, the figure itself. Very big animal, Edmontosaurus. One of the largest hadrosaurs ever to walk the earth. Of course, obviously, its Asian cousin, Chitungasaurus, was twice the size as this animal. But that's just how PNS so it makes... A Chitungasaurus, yeah. Like, like, just look at it. It's just awesome looking. It's a really awesome figure, I have to say. Learn to draw dinosaurs with Sean Tronk. That's the owner of the company. Oh, and the, here's the hoof that they did. Yep. Because obviously Edmontosaurus had um, some type of hooves on its front feet. Oh, here's the, here's the colored one. Well, obviously here's the drawing one and here's this. It's pretty cool. Twenty twenty one. And here's books of the PNS or stuff. Now let's look at the poster. Don't want to fuck it up, of course. I'm sorry, I have, be, I have to do this a little bit. There we go. Here it is. Here's the Amontosaurus. Pretty cool. I have to say, pretty cool. I can't wait to, like, hang this. Whatever that will be, because I haven't hanged my posters in quite a while since I moved into my house. But, uh, yeah. So, overall, this is the best Edmontosaurus figure. And this is, for the very first time, this is actually the first Edmontosaurus figure I have. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to have the uh, Safari Limited uh, Myasaura with its babies, and then I lost it. And then, like, I think, like, a couple of months ago, yeah, when I used my Christmas money, I bought the the Hadrosaurus figure because Hadrosaurus is the, is the dinosaur from New Jersey because I live in New Jersey. Yeah. And also... I am not here to downplay on Edmontosaurus. Like, it, Edmontosaurus would be one of the dangerous animals, but it's not the dangerous, you know? But it would still fend for itself against T-Rex if it really wanted to. But that's a whole debate. That's a whole talk for another day, of course. Yeah. Overall, excuse me. Really cool figure. Um, yeah. I highly recommend... If you are a Hadrosaur fan, I highly recommend to get this figure because this figure is so dope. Highly recommend it. 
highly recommended. And I hope to get more PNSO figures in the future.